OK, so today we're going to try and start James's new car. We think it's the oldest uh, low-light Morris Minor in Canada. We think it is. <coughs> we don't really know. This was found in a grain silo of a local barn, and I rescued it a year ago, and this is going to be the next project. I think this will be the next car. So, it's been stood for a long time, we know that. We, for some reason, it had, it had antifreeze in it. It's had coolant in it. We'll better check that. So we check that, it's got that. Um, we suspect that there's engine oil in it. And there is engine oil. You can tell that we've rehearsed this because we've already looked. And basically what we've done is we've taken the battery off my existing Morris Minor and pushed it out of the barn in case it catches fire and then basically we are going to see whether it starts. The, the wiring harness is scrap having been eaten by mice so we've snipped the connections to that and just wired uh, an ignition coil straight into the distributor. Um, this is the ignition on, we're bypassing the switch and we are going to see whether it starts. So, ignition on, a little bit of a crackle there. Connect the main battery live now We've put a bit of fuel in the uh, carburetor already because there's no line. We'll spray a bit of easy start, cold start, into the carb. Let's wait and see what happens. You ready, yep. David? Yep. It's not in gear or anything daft, is it? No. <laughs> oh, that sounded oh, good. That sounds good. Come on, baby. over the exhaust manifold to stop it rusting and it's misfiring a bit and it's getting a bit lean because we're running out of petrol in the float chamber